Welcome to the another episode of Abstract Thesis series. In this series, we are digging deep into the Power BI concepts. If you have not subscribed, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for our new video. Hello and welcome to another video of Abstract Thesis series. In today's video, we would like to understand okay, how can we concatenate uh, a data, comma separated one, can make it comma separated one uh, for a group by. And now, there are options like we can create a major for that. There are options like we can create a tax table. Can we also create a power query? So first, uh, let's understand the problem. So let me go to a table which I have. I have this table, category table, uh, which is my table, which is a category. And if you can see in this category table, category SEC table, I have, uh, let me sort all also on this, sort ascending. So I have category one, which is between user one and two, then category two, which is again between user one and two, category three is user one and two, category four is user one and three, and category three is user one and three. So what I want is comma separated one, these values. So what I can do here is, if I go ahead and plot this table category, and I simply plot user, I think we are calling it as column one. Let's rename it as user. Okay, easy to search. We go ahead and bring in user. I uh, simply bring in, it's going to give me, so other, the only options which I have here is count, count, distinct, min, max. That's what I don't want. So I remove this. And now I am going to create one major for it. So I go ahead and create a major. So I say major is con cat user okay concat user so concatenate x and we can say now i want distinct users also so first of all what i can say value or what i can say values or i can say summarize whatever suits to me so i say users and then i return user and then i give a separator comma let me close on this concat user okay now if we don't want grand total i can go ahead and remove the grand total okay no problem that we can check is filtered or something like that or in fact we can remove the grand total but what we are getting right now important thing is here one comma two one comma two and one comma three one comma two that's what we want now what happened if somebody says no 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 i need a static column here so a static table here, not static column, static table here. So then what we can do is we can go ahead and create a table for that. So what we are going to do is we are going to do the same stuff, but we are going to say cat of users and we say summarize cat cat security table and we say cat user and we say concat space we have given it down knowingly so that concatenate x and what we want here is again we give the same formula values user user and comma we should have set category here Okay, so that becomes the first column, the second column we can delete and do it. No problem with that. But we are getting category 1, comma 2, uh, user 1, comma 2, user 1, comma 2, 1, comma 3. Now, what happened if I need to do same thing in Power Query? So let's go to the Power Query. Now, what I'm going to do, I don't want to change this table. So uh, I got the list of the table here as queries. So I let me duplicate this. Okay, so let me duplicate this. And let me call it category concat now one of the easiest way we can group this table is basically we go to transform and group by but when we go to transform and group by 
again i don't have an option here for concatenation some average median min max count distinct row all rows okay these are these kind of options are there so what do you want to say okay let's say count rows and we shall select new so we go to some we we can't do this one we have to do min max count rows is going to give the rows it's not going to ask for the user so we say this one and then we bring it now what happens is it's coming the min of the user that's what we don't need but what we can do once it is come come here now you see the script which is grouping by and this is list dot min here so what we are going to take in make is we are going to make it first of all list dot distinct now we'll get distinct users but it is a list it's not going to give one value i need one value okay so to get the one value which i'm going to do is text dot combine parenthesis start in this parenthesis i have list dot distinct users and in the double quotes i'm going to give comma the separator and then i press enter see 1 comma 2 1 comma 2 1 comma 2 1 comma 3 1 comma 3 so what we have done is we taken the advantage of group by function which is already available in power query we went to that particular uh, code part of the code and then we modified that code to you know change it to list dot distinct and then use text dot combine so list dot distinct give us the distinct uh, values and text dot combine can combine elements inside the list and you can give a separator which is comma we have given there so we have utilized this so we have used major we have used calculated uh, table and now we have used power query to achieve the same things so in case you want to try that out go ahead and try this out do let us know what else you want us to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comments subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you